Welcome once again to The Breakfast here on PLOS TV Africa. Now let's go back in history to the 26th of July in 1948. It was on this day that President Harry S. Truman signed an executive order, Executive Order 9981, ending discrimination in the military. Um, it was, of course, uh, after a long spell which, uh, where uh, African-American military officers in the United States were basically pushed to do menial jobs. You know, they, they weren't allowed to hold uh, big positions or strong, high-ranking positions in the U.S. military. They basically were recruited and left to do the menial, embarrassing, you know, uh, jobs in, in the Army at that time. So on this day in 1948, President Truman signed that executive order. It ended a long-standing practice of segregation of black soldiers. African Americans had been serving in the United States military since the Revolutionary War, but were deployed in their largest numbers during World War II. And uh, there is also some historical books and um, um, stories that tell the, you know, the uh, the influence of black American, African American soldiers in uh, you know fighting for um, in America's wars. If you remember the movie The Tuskegee Airmen, I believe it's one of those movies that tells of the influence of black Americans in America's wars. You know, but at the same time, even when they were able to contribute that much. They still were reduced to, you know, the you know, menial jobs in the in the army. It was a crucial event in post World War II civil rights movement and a major achievement of Truman's presidency. The order also established a committee to investigate and make recommendations to the civilian leadership of the military to implement the policy. The pressure from these groups pushed President Truman to establish a commission on human rights. And so once again, 1948, President Truman ended discrimination in the United States uh, military. Now let's move over to a place called Ahmedabad, where in, on this day in 2008, there was a bomb blast that led to the uh, loss of 56 people and more than 200 were injured on this day, July 26, in 2008. Um, over time in you know history, we've gotten to hear about bombings in different parts of the world. And even till date, you might still hear of a bomb blast in Pakistan or Afghanistan and some of all those places. Um, it used to be the strongest tactic of uh, terrorist groups across the world, from ISIS to Al-Qaeda and, of course, uh, even down here in Nigeria, the Boko Haram. Over time, you know, we've gotten to hear less and less of these events. There's uh, new tactics that terrorists have been using these days, um, maybe because of, you know, security agents has been able to um, reduce their you know, ability to carry out bomb attacks or maybe just because they feel there's you know more they can profit more from a different tactic with regards to terrorism but on this day in 2008 a bomb blast went off in Ahmedabad and led to the uh, loss of 56 people um, within a span of seven, uh, 70 minutes 56 people were killed and over 200 people were injured it is the cultural commercial cap uh, capital city of um, Gujarat state, a large part of Western India. The blasts were considered to be of low intensity and were similar to the Bangalore blast, which occurred a day earlier. The Gujarat police arrested the suspected mastermind, Mufti Abu Bashir, along with nine others in connection to the bombings. The, bomb the bombings also occurred a day after yeah, the Bangalore blast in, in the Indian state. Several news agencies reported receiving a 14-page email five minutes before the explosion with the subject line, I wait five minutes for the revenge of Gujarat of Karnataka. Uh, pretty difficult pronouncing these names, but <laughs> that's what happened on this day um, in 2008 in India. And we hope that, of course, as time passes, we can finally get to a place in our, in our lives and in history where there is a complete end to bomb blast and, uh, you know, that attack by terrorist groups across the world. That's all for today in history, 2008, the bomb blast in India. And, of course, in 1948, President Harry S. Truman ended discrimination in the U.S. military. Stay with us. Our first major conversation for today, we are talking Lagos state elections on Saturday. I had spoken with Deji Doherty on Saturday uh, during our news, uh, late night news, uh, news now, and he had made certain statements with regards to Regan and uh, the electoral malpractices in the Lagos state elections that took place on Saturday. So we've invited him once again this morning to have um, another conversation about that and, of course, uh, share a little bit more with us what truly happened from his perspective on Saturday in Lagos. We'll be back after the short break. 